For just the second time in program history, FGCU softball is going to the big dance. We will be live with the Eagles this weekend for the tournament. And C uh, NBC2's Jaron May. I You're practiced, excited. You're excited. Practiced that enough. NBC2's Jaron May <laughs> caught up with the team to see how the Eagles are preparing. Go. Back in February, FGCU softball head coach David Dero said this. We're going to win the ASUN. We're going to go to NCAA regionals and farther. A bold prediction, but one that the Eagles have officially backed up. For the first time in 12 years, Florida Gulf Coast victorious in the ASUN softball championship. Party like it's 2012. For the second time in program history, FGCU softball has won one of these, the A-Sun Tournament Championship. And now the Eagles are soaring their way to the NCAA Tournament. We've been thinking about this all season, so to see it finally come to life, it's the best feeling. The best feeling came this past weekend as FGCU won the conference tournament and bunched its ticket to the big dance. Cherishing this moment and, and really enjoying what we were able to accomplish has been key. Now the Eagles are headed to the Swamp to play in the Gainesville Regional, hosted by fourth seeded Florida, where FGCU will match up with UF, FAU, and South Alabama. I love being the underdog. You know, we just come in there. We have absolutely nothing to lose. So, and I think that's when we play our best, just free and fun. And I think we're going to have a lot of success. Watching that success is the team's new mascot, Carlos, a paper eagle who gets a new crown on his feathers every FGCU win. I have three extra crowns for Carlos, and hopefully that bad boy will be the king of softball, at least for that weekend. Carlos and the Eagles begin the NCAA tournament against Florida tomorrow at noon. That's what we're looking forward to. We'll have live coverage from Gainesville this weekend. For now, reporting at FGCU, Jaron May, NBC2.